If you're anything like I am, then you probably stream most of your music on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, or on some other service. Not so long ago, the most common way most people listened to music was on CDs, compact discs. They were the successor to cassette tapes, offering better audio quality. And the best part was that they didn't need to be rewound. In this video, I'll show you how to use your compatible CD or DVD drive to make music CDs that can play back in any CD or DVD player for free using your Mac's built-in music app. Let's get started. Now, why would someone want to make an audio CD today? Well, they might have a CD player in their car and want to listen to ad-free music while driving, or maybe they just want to create a special song mix to give as a gift. They could also have a special event like a wedding or birthday where they want to play a custom collection of music. As I mentioned a moment ago, we can use the music app to create audio CDs. Let's open it. I'll click the spotlight button up in the menu bar. It looks like a magnifying glass. And then I'll type music and press return. After the music app opens, we'll create a playlist for the songs we want to put onto a CD. And then we'll collect those songs into the list. There are several ways to create a playlist. Here's how I do it. In the sidebar, in the library section, click songs to see a list of all the music in your library. Now browse through the list and then right click or control click on the song. Hover the mouse on add to playlist and choose whether to add to a new or existing one. I'll choose to add to a new list. My new list appears and the song shows inside of it. Let's rename this list. I'll call it audio CD mix and then I'll press return. You can always click on the playlist title to rename it. Now that we've added this new list, let's go back to songs in the library section. Let's add another song. We can scroll through the list and then right click on a song, point to add to playlist and pick our new playlist name from the list. This time, because the list already exists, the song gets added and we remain in the song list. Now we can repeat this process as many times as we want to collect all the songs for our disc. And of course, you can use search or browse by album or artist to find the songs you want. Standard CDs can hold up to roughly 74 minutes of audio, so keep that in mind when adding to your playlist. When you're ready to burn, insert a blank disc. Your Mac detects the disc and displays a dialog box to ask you what to do. Click Action, choose Open Music, and then click OK. The Music app displays an alert that shows you how to burn a playlist to disc. Click OK. If necessary, download all the songs to your Mac, control click the playlist name, and click Download. Now select your playlist in the sidebar, click File, Burn Playlist to Disk. If the Burn Playlist to Disk option is grayed out or doesn't appear in the file menu, the playlist you selected can't be burned to a disk because it contains items with restrictions. Let me know if you want me to make a video that goes into this a bit more. So now it's time to choose the burn settings we want. Let's leave the format set to Audio CD which will create a disc that should play back in any standard CD or DVD player. Let me know if you want me to explain the MP3 CD and data CD options. Once burning is complete, the CD appears in the sidebar. It has the same name as your playlist and a small eject button you can click to remove the disc from the Mac. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then you might want to watch this one next to see how to use your Mac to burn a video to DVD. Drop your tech questions in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.